Hey, hey guys. guys welcome back to our channel so we get so many requests from you guys here on youtube and also over on instagram requesting us to do a queen mary mile end campus tour so since we're in london we decided to do that for you guys hopefully it will help you guys make a decision in choosing your universities and give you a better insight of what the campus is like so with that being said let's get on with the tour and just a little disclaimer before we start the tour, I was a student here at Queen Mary almost two years ago, but my stay here got cut short due to the pandemic. So unfortunately, I was only able to be physically on campus for around five or six months. So I don't know everything about the campus. I'm just sharing with you guys what I know about the campus. So this is the entrance or one of the entrances of Queen Mary on the Mile End campus. As you can see behind me, these are gates. It's monitored by security, but you can walk in if you're a student. And this is most likely to be the entrance that you take if you're coming off of Mile End Station or entering the campus from anywhere near Mile End. This will be the closest entrance. As you walk in, you'll notice this building here. This is actually one of the student accommodations. This one is called Hatton House. And if you got an approval for staying in one of the student accommodations, you'll most likely be staying in one of these buildings here but there's more to come so we'll show you guys but yeah this is just the first building as you enter on to the Queen Mary Island campus there's also the canal in the back of this building which we'll show you guys a little bit later this building here is called Lock Keepers Graduate Center I'm not sure what it's for because I've never had to use it but it is between both of the student accommodation buildings here so if you ever have to come to this building this is where it is so these are the other student accommodation buildings that I was talking about. After Hatton House, if you walk down further, you'll see these student accommodation buildings. So it's just like Hatton House, but there's two separate buildings. So again, just like the other student accommodations, this is another one. This is called Maynard House. So if you're staying at Maynard House, this is how it looks. And yet again, this is the last student accommodation on this strip of student accommodation buildings. This one is called Very House. Varey House, Varey House. I'm not sure how to say it, but this is another one. So by now you've noticed that Queen Mary actually provides a lot of student accommodation that's on campus. As you've seen the ones that we've shown you, we still have more to show you over to the side and there's even more in the back, which we'll get to. So it's very resourceful of them and very convenient for the students who decide to stay and live on campus. behind me which is right adjacent to these student accommodations buildings this one is called the joseph priestly building i think it's just an administrative building with offices inside for the lectures i've never had to go in there before so i don't know if there's actual lectures and seminars that take place in there but for now i'm gonna go with that it's an administration building so as you can see here this is one of queen mary's little common areas they usually dress this space up and make it really pretty like how it is sometimes if they're doing events or usually if there's nothing going on it's just a seating area where students can get together and hang out and take a break between seminars and lectures here across from the joseph priestley building and right in front of the common area we have this huge building it's actually a shared building with student accommodations and the curve so the student accommodation here is called felden or filden house like I said, it's another student accommodation and the building is also shared with The Curve, which is Queen Mary's canteen or a cafeteria. Between lectures and seminars, you could take a break there and you could grab a bite to eat or just relax in the seating area. as the Curve and Felden House student accommodation. We also have the housing hub. I'm assuming that you come here for any of your housing needs or if you have any questions or queries, you could come here and I'm sure they'll be more than happy to help you out. 
this is just like a little convenience store slash grocery store that Queen Mary has on the Mile End campus. It's actually called Village Shop and as you can see it's filled with a bunch of food and drinks and snacks that you could pick up while you're on your break between lectures or seminars or before you head home. And yet again there's more student accommodations back that way. As I said earlier, there is a canal that runs through the Queen Mary campus over to the side, which is actually located over there. If you look closely, you'll see that there is several houseboats and they run all along the canal. Just behind me is the residence's reception. If you have any queries or questions regarding your residence, you can always come to them or you can email them. I personally have had to use them both physically and to communicate with them via email and they've been so helpful with everything and so easy to work with. So I highly recommend you reach out to them if you need anything regarding your residence. This is another student accommodation. This one is called France House. And just beside it, you'll see that this is the Queen Mary laundry room. So you come here to do your laundry and it's on campus and very, very convenient. So definitely take advantage of it if you live on campus. As you'll see behind me i think this is actually a student accommodation i wasn't even sure myself because i don't venture over here often well when i used to be on campus anyways but this building behind me seems to be a huge student accommodation building it's called pooley house As you can see behind a pooley house is actually a scape which is also another student accommodation the only difference is this is a private student accommodation so it is not in connection with queen mary but this is also another option if you want to stay on campus and the other accommodation buildings are full scape is actually really nice it's a modern and updated student accommodation so we just showed you guys the east side of the campus which consists of mostly the accommodations so now we're gonna head over to the west side of the campus starting off from the curve and we're gonna go and make our way down so just behind me there is actually a cemetery really weird but it's located in the middle of campus right between the buildings it is a big cemetery i must say and i know a lot of you may have concerns whether it's a distraction or whether it's a scary feature to have on campus but to be honest as you get used to coming on campus you just learn to live with it and it's something that you don't even acknowledge anymore because you just get so used to it so if you're concerned about having a cemetery located in the middle of campus don't worry about it at all So we finally made it to the Francis Bancroft building. This building actually is where we had a lot of our lectures and a few seminars. So for a few of you, this may be one of the main buildings that you come to. It sure was for us. So here it is. Right across from the Francis Bancroft building is actually the library. As you can see, it's all around here and it consists of four or five floors, both of individual study or group studies. And obviously it's under construction right now, but this is one of Queen Mary's common areas. During your breaks from classes, you can also come here and chill out or sometimes when they have events, they also set up booths here where they sell goods and items that you can purchase, or you can just use it as an area to walk through to get to your next destination. So just a few steps down from the library and actually right behind the library we have over here the ground cafe it is just a cafe where you can come and grab some snacks or grab some coffee and it's a nice place to hang out as well 
And then over here to the left in the back, you'll see the Students' Union Hub. That's where you go to sign up for any clubs or for any social events and stuff like that. And there's also another common area upstairs where you can go for private study or group study. So just a few steps down from the library, you'll find the Octagon building. I remember when we were going through induction, this is actually the first building that we came to where we registered for everything. So uh, this is probably where you'll start out here in the Octagon. And just here to the right of me, this is called the Geography building. We actually had a lecture in there. There's a huge lecture theater. It's really nice. And this is where some of you will probably have your lectures. left the black green and yellow building is called the GE Fog building I'm not sure what they do in there because I didn't have to enter that building for lectures or seminars but the building to the right is actually called the graduate center I was in there quite a lot for a few lectures and seminars I came to Queen Mary as a postgraduate student so I believe the graduate center is actually only available for postgraduate students which is why I had quite a few lectures and seminars in there so if you're undergrad unfortunately I don't think you'll have access to that building until you become a postgraduate student of our Queen Mary Mile End campus tour. I'm afraid that I didn't get to cover all the buildings on campus because it is quite a big campus. So we covered most of the important buildings, the essential buildings. I hope that you guys find this video helpful and I hope that this helps you to make an informed decision on whether Queen Mary is the right campus for you. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions regarding Queen Mary or Queen Mary's campus, please leave them down below and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!